What's going on guys, the Inhuman Beatdown, I'm back with more Marvel Avengers Alliance, welcome to a brand new episode of Avengers Assemble, where I take a look at a brand new character and give you a kind of a first impressions look at him. Spec Ops right here in the depths of things of the first part of the Spider-Verse, let's have a look at the reward hero for this, that is of course, Miles Morale. Morales? Miles Morales? I don't fucking know. Fuck it. Otherwise known as the Ultimate Spider-Man. This alternate Ultimate Spider-Man is Miles Morales. Okay. He was also bitten by a radioactive spider which gave him ability similar to our own Spider-Man. Miles initially refused to become a superhero, wishing to live a normal life. But after he witnessed the death of his predecessor, he decided to use his abilities to help others and live to the very mantra that it seems most spiders live by, that with great power comes great responsibility. I also believe, unlike Spider-Man, he actually is stronger and faster, and I believe he was also bitten by a... an altered spider which gave him additional powers, but more on that. He is an infiltrator, focusing in high stamina and high evasion, with moderate defense and accuracy, but suffering low attack and low health, if my video where he got immediately destroyed in the first part was any indication. He gets the ultimate spider sense, 20% chance to cloak, avoiding attacks, and then countering them. He is the spider successor, ultimate spider-man has a chance to protect an ally from an oncoming attack, can even protect all allies from area attacks. It's basically the same as great responsibility and great power. Once he protects someone, he'll get increased damage for his next attack. He gets the ultimate weapon, webbing, which looks like a Kamehameha buildup. Which is a one enemy ranged attack that applies webbed, which reduces evasion, attacks do 20% less damage, and cannot crit. A second application of webbed applies tangled web. A third application of web applies binding web. I believe binding web stuns as well. Venom Sting is a one enemy melee electric energy bio because that doesn't have enough debuff types in it. It's a bio attack so it does not work against mechanical targets and is stealthy. It applies envenomed, taking damage every turn, reduce attack, counts as poison for other effects, incapacitation, and straining. Lose stamina every round or after performing hostile actions. Lowers evasion, this effect can be applied three times. The ultimate combo is a one enemy unarmed melee that has deadly crits, exploits webbing, and exploits stuns. It applies combo setup. And finally, the web bomb is an all enemy energy ranged that has a four roll, uh, four round cooldown, and it starts cooled down. It's catastrophic, guaranteed crit, stuns all enemies. Unfortunately, Spider-Man gets kicked like a mule, which means he loses his next turn. So, from what I can see from this, the idea is to web up his opponents and then use the ultimate combo on them, which could take some time depending on how much web you want to shoot on them. Venom Sting is a nice little attack to hit someone if, well, say you just want to get by them with stealth alone, and the web bomb seems more like a way to deter opponents than actually stop them because its damage is quite frankly pitiful. But at the cost of, of course, stunning Spider-Man for one round, so he seems pretty decent. I'm pretty sure I'll know more about him as I use him in Spec Ops, but to unlock him, of course, you must finish Spec Ops. So that all said and done. That's really all there is to it. So until next time, guys, I'll catch you all later. Asta.